Well, it's actually very consequential. And what's really consequential is that it goes for nine months because what it means, it alleviates uncertainty into the first quarter. We usually used to go from from um, from OPEC meeting to OPEC meeting. They're sort of twice a year by charter. They have to be twice a year. Um, so it, it alleviates that. And what do markets hate most and foremost? It's uncertainty. So it gives them some certainty. Why do you think the price action has been muted? Oil prices are actually down at the moment in Asia. Is there anything we can link that to? Well, I think it's been muted. It's been they, yesterday. It was up. I mean, yesterday it came to a five-week high and on, on a rally of um, two weeks. Um, so it's been muted because we still look. We have an agreement on trade between Xi Jinping and President Trump, but it is a truce. It is not an agreement. And you know, I, I, with these um, trade negotiations, the devil's in the detail, and a lot can happen between now and whenever they reach an agreement, if they reach an agreement. Cornelia, we also saw the frictions that still exist between Iran, Saudi Arabia and Russia at this meeting. Tell me, how important is this OPEC Plus deal and what are they trying to achieve? Well, the OPEC Plus deal is actually crucial. You know, the United States has become the largest producer in the world. That happened um, uh, uh, December last year. And so materiality is good. It was OPEC Plus for, since um, 2016 that really has helped even out and balance the markets. Whenever there was not enough crude on the markets, they put it on the market. Whenever there, if there was too much crude on the market, they took it off the market. So OPEC Plus means they have a framework with the chart. They have a framework where they can act more quickly. Up to now, it, for every before every OPEC meeting, it's like, is Russia on board? Is it not on board? Now it's clear, you know, there is a framework with which they can operate. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.